hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel we're checking out nf intro 3 uh, i couldn't get a music video for this to come up so i'm guessing there isn't one i just seen the audio so i figured instead of doing the audio we'd do the lyric videos again so we can try to catch more of what's going on anyways uh so yeah uh let's just jump on in and make sure it sounds right and we'll just jump on in and i don't got nothing too much to say on this one enjoying the journey so far enjoying the journey Okay. What are you scared of me? It's embarrassing. If it wasn't for me, you would have never wrote therapy. I've been here for you, but I come in never there for me. It's a little bit twisted, but I miss when you and I had scary dreams. I don't really want to talk about it. Well, it's too bad now, Nate. Shut up. Now, where were we? I'm back. Okay. So he's definitely someone else. For me, you would have never wrote. He's, he's someone else speaking to himself. Therapy. I've been here for you, but I come in never there for me. It's a little bit twisted, but I miss when you and I had scary dreams. I don't really want to talk about it. Well, it's too bad now, Nate. Shut up. Now, where were we? Oh, back in the day. Mm. You and I had it all mapped out in the basement, crying in your room like a baby. I wish mom was here. We all do, so we wouldn't have to hear about it. Every single record, you don't really want to change me. Yeah, I'm the one that made this happen. Do you really want to get rid of your main attraction? Let's pack our bags and go back to Gladwin now. Ooh, okay. So, first. <clears throat> he said go back to glad one y'all was just talking about how he was from glad one uh in the warm-up video i think it was because he said he said one of his bars was something about a glove and i said i didn't know what that meant and y'all said it was because he was from glad one and it's shaped like a glove and uh then he said uh you want to get rid of me i'm the main attraction or something along with, what what do you say right there go back just a little bit so i can read the lyric uh let's see do you really want to get rid of me or get rid of your main attraction okay so he's talking about obviously it's another person talking to him and so obviously he's talking about like in an outro which is what we just listened to he was saying that he was scared that if he took the pain out of his uh songs that it might not connect or hit the way that they they hit right now so Right this second, the number one suspect of who he's talking to is like his uh, pain. But that's just right this second. Let's see if see if we can get some more clues of who's talking to him. We wouldn't have to hear about it. Every single record, you don't really want to change me. Yeah, I'm the one that made this happen. Do you really want to get rid of your main attraction? Let's pack our bags and go back to Gladwin now. Mm. Yeah, it's time for the third record. Okay, this one's just straight up bars, by the way. It's basically just like a little bitty piano behind it, and he's just straight up going ham bony with the reps. Want to get rid of your main attraction? Let's pack our bags and go back to Gladwin now. Yeah, it's time for the third record, and you know I got the content. I don't want to make you nervous, mm. but it ain't like it used to be. We got a lot of people watching. Mm -hmm. You told me that you don't want me in your life. That's pretty hard to digest. And I told you I leave when we die. Die, and we ain't died yet. Therapy session was beautiful, Nate, but I'm wondering what's coming next. Yeah, get that stupid head off of your head when I'm talking to you. You hear what I said? You don't like the prison I built you. Yeah, you want to know what the funny thing is? You keep on talking. Talking to me like a stranger, but we've been together since you were a kid. Yeah. Mm. So no name. Told you everything was okay. Hey, he just said no name. That's the name of a song he's got. We haven't listened to it yet, but that's the song he's got. Keep on talking to me like a stranger, but we've been together since you were a kid. Yeah. yeah. Took me no name. Told you everything was okay. Now you trying to come me out of it like I ain't never been a part of it. I ain't the heart of it. I made this whole thing. Yeah, put us on the dope stage. You must have no mm. brain. What's the point of having guns if you can't aim? Can't What's aim. the point of having blood with no veins? No What's the point of having love with no pain? <laughs> what I'm saying is me without... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. He said, what's the point of having guns if you can't aim? What's the point of having blood with no veins? What's the point of having love with no pain, bro? That's stupid. Low-key fire. Okay. First of all, one thing, the first thing that comes to mind is we just listened to outro yesterday, and he said something about, uh, he said, uh, kids come up to my shows in NF hoodies and uh, their hats down like it's weapons. So that's that for some reason that's what pops out to me there, <laughs> you know. Uh, obviously, it may not be what he means, but it's just something that the reference that comes to mind. And then just the whole thing is just like that. That's just a fire line. What's the point of having love with no pain? That's another. That's a uh, clue number two that he's talking about is pain. 
So we'll, let's continue. Made this whole thing. Yeah, put us on the dope stage. You must have no brain. What's the point of having guns if you can't aim? What's the point of having blood with no veins? What's the point of having love with no pain? What I'm saying is me without you doesn't make any sense. I know I'm intent to controlling, but you need to learn. Dude, this literally sounds like a stupid Marvel movie, bro. This literally sounds like a Marvel movie. Sounds like Spider-Man. Me without you doesn't make any sense. I know I'm intent to controlling, but you need to learn how to cope with it. That's just the way that it is. You didn't want me to live in your house. You shouldn't have let me move in. It's comfortable here and I like it. I got my own room and everything. It don't get better than this. Okay. You want to own your life and wake up and take your own advice. It's just mad because you know I'm right. Yeah, I'm Okay. He just said I had a room and mansion. And I think the only thing, let's see. In mansion, he mentioned that there was somebody that a Abused him. They had a room. Regret had a room. And fear had a room. See, I'm trying to think if he said anything else. I think that's the only three things he named. He could have named something else, but I think that's the main three that he actually named. So, all right, let's continue here. It don't get better than this. Say you want to own your life and wake up and take your own advice. It's just mad because you know I'm right. Yeah, I'm flattered you put me in mansion, but you should have told him right. Put your hands on the coldest night. You didn't tell him about the times you and I used to hold the mic. I mean, what are you out of your mind? Guess both of us will be. Come on, let's go outside. This what you wanted. Both of us out in the open. Let's do it then. I mean, why are you doing this? I know that you're mad, you're mad. but I'm not in the mood for this. We got to wake at the drop. So why are you acting like I'm not a part? Where's hey. my shovel at? Probably he, he just said uh, he's mentioning the shovel. Now we're getting some context to the shovel that we seen in uh in outro. But it's we got a wreck at the drop. So why you acting like I'm not a part of it? Hey, where's my shovel at? Probably y'all back where it always is. You can't get rid of all of me. I'm the reason why. No, shut up. I don't want to hear another sentence. Hell, man, that is a mere the fear talking. <laughs> what a dumb question. Yes, real music to the day we die, right? Yeah. Ain't that the slogan they did? Thought I told you to keep your mouth shut. I mean, so what? You know I never listen. Is it me or the fear talking? So now I'm thinking he. this is fear. Now I'm thinking this is fear because he said that he mentioned in the mansion and he said that he, uh, he, right there, he just said, is it me or the fear talking? Also, y'all been telling me he has a song called the Till the Day We Die with Toby Mac that I'm going to have to listen to because I'm a big fan of Toby Mac. Is it me or the fear talking? <laughs> what a dumb question. Yes, real music to the day we die, right? Yeah, ain't that the slogan they did? Thought I told you to keep your mouth shut. I mean, so what? You know I never listen. Let me guess. We're going to dig a hole, kill the track, and probably put a beat in it. Rap about it for like... Didn't he say that? And uh, I was actually just reading the comments. I think I missed this when I watched, uh, when I done my reaction to uh, intro two, but I was just reading the comments today. And uh, I think a few of y'all have mentioned that uh, that's one of the things that the shovel meant uh, was that he was like burying stuff uh, in his, in his yard. And I think y'all said that in intro two, he was saying, uh, he was saying, that he uh, that he buried, killed a track, buried a beat in it, and stuff like that. And anyways, long story short, I missed that. So it might not be in that song. I, I missed that. I just read that after the fact in the comments. So that, that that's what I guess he's referring to right there. Put a beat in it. Rap about it for like three minutes. Hey, that's pretty deep, isn't it? Wait a minute. You don't really think for a second that you're putting me in this? No, of course not. Just a little deeper, then we'll go inside and we can stop digging. Let me scare for a second. I thought we were digging my grave. We did. Ooh, that was low key kind of fire, bro. He was, dude. He said, "I thought we were digging my grave." I guess, I guess, I guess it's fear or pain. I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say fear now since he said he pretty much named himself. So fear and him is talking, right? And he was like, "Oh, I thought we were digging my grave for a second, and then it went ding like he hit him in the head with the shovel. <laughs> <laughs> and he said we did. <laughs> oh man. Deeper than we'll go inside and we can stop digging. Let me scare for a second. I thought we were digging my grave. We did. 
What you don't like being afraid? <laughs> it's a dose of your own medicine. What, you don't like hot taste? My therapist told me don't bury my issues, but I'm gonna be honest, man, I'm feeling great. I think it's only right. So he's saying, this is him saying he's burying his fear of fire, bro. By the way, he's kept up this whole burying theme like crazy so far. We go back to where you were created. I wrote a song for Johnny without you, but he ain't gonna like it. Let's see how he takes it. He probably don't even remember us, does he? Okay, hold on. He said, I think it's right. Let's hold, hold. Let me read. Let me read. It says, I think it's only right we go back to where you were created. I wrote a song for John. Wrote a song for Johnny without you, but he ain't gonna like it. Let's see how he takes it. Is Johnny the guy? Uh, when he was talking about abuse, uh, I don't know if he said it in the song or not. But y'all told me in the comments that because uh, we, I, I, I caught that he was talking about the abuse, but I just didn't catch the. Which he might have said the name. I can't even remember. Did I mention that he said? So anyways, long story short, y'all told me in the comments that it was his stepdad that beat him. Long story short is what I was going to say. So uh, is Johnny the stepdad that beat him? Interesting. Let's see how he takes it. He probably don't even remember us, does he? I wish I was bearing anger, but both of us know I'm going to need him for that song. that song. He still lives in the basement. Almost done. Should have done this a year ago. I don't know why I waited. You know how I get. I put everything off in my personal life. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah, it's hilarious, ain't it? You'll spend the rest of your life in my backyard or back of my mind. Depends how you see it. Put the show of the way. Time to go back in the house now. You'll be out in a week telling me you want your room back. That's funny, but you ain't got nowhere to sleep. I'm going to just look out the window and laugh at you. This is crazy to me because I thought you had me in prison this whole time. But I'm the one holding the keys. Ooh, okay. They just mentioned keys. He just mentioned keys. Let me listen to that, or let me read that at least one more time. What did you just say? Because I thought you had me in a prison, or in prison, this whole time, but I'm the one holding the keys. Mm. And I see the whole cage thing, too, so I think we're about to get to the cage. Like, in the search, one of my questions was, like, where does the cage come from? So I guess fear had him in a cage. See, to me, because I thought you had me in prison this whole time, but I'm the one holding the keys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the difference in this one compared to the other ones too. Let me uh, let this play out first. He always lets the beat play out a little bit, but this one's like a little extra. I swear if he hits one more note. Okay, now we're good. All right. I like the difference between this one and the, his other intros, because the other intros is like just him going stupid crazy, and it's just like a hard beat and this and that, and this one's just like more chill. It's kind of like, especially since the album name is Perception, it's like, okay, he's starting to get kind of focused. He's like, he's starting to change perspectives a little bit, get a little more focused, and... uh. I don't know. It's, it's, I, I like this one a lot. This one is uh one of those that like, like I said, it was just straight up, basically him like just straight up him rapping. It wasn't really like a crazy beat or anything like that. It was kind of cool for a second because it sounded like a cinematic movie or something like that. It literally sounded like a Marvel movie. Uh, actually, I got a question for y'all. Out of out of curiosity, I was thinking about this after I watched Outro Three, and I was like, I usually. Another reason why all these things are sticking out to me so much, she all is saying that I've done a good job of catching all the references, but one of the reasons is because when I finish watching one of these videos and reacting, I edit the videos, and I don't do a lot of editing, but when I'm editing, I'll watch through and see if there's anything like I, like I, where I messed up and like need to put a little subtitle there or something like that. So anyways, I edit the video, so I watch these videos at least two or three times after I record it. So that's why everything's so fresh on my mind and because I've been like grinding these like crazy pretty much. So uh where was I going with that? <laughs> oh man, I done forgot where I was going with that. Ah, anyways, must not have been too important that I remember where I was going with it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. If you like this kind of content, we on the NF grind right now. Oh, oh, I remember what I was gonna say. I remember what I was gonna say. That was okay. I was gonna say uh do y'all think that uh, 
one of the big big appeals to nf and i'm not saying like his music is fire don't get me wrong his music is fire but it's like so cinematic it's like a it's like a movie or something like that like his beats like that right there that wasn't even really a beat that was just like a that was like a cinematic like score like a score to a movie so my question is is do y'all think that and this is like just take your like i love nf this ain't like a this ain't me talking trash or nothing this is just a legitimate question just to see what y'all think about it do y'all think that nf having this crazy like connected story with these like referencing all these crazy music videos and just you know having this big theme and ha doing all that do y'all think that's a big contributor to uh his success because obviously he's nasty but i'm just saying like you know like just take like it just take Try to look at it from a, uh, what is it, a subjective? Try to look at it like from an outside perspective and just just take being a fan away and be like, okay, it, it, does the cinematic theme help him a lot? Because it's very, uh, very, very unique. And I think it's sick. But obviously he's nasty. I'm not, that ain't no, I'm a big fan of NF at this point. So I ain't, I ain't dissing in any way. It's just a legitimate question that I got. So with that said, um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It means a lot to a new channel like mine. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Love you. Appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.